I want to start kind of a series, and this isn't going to be the focus of my channel. This is just kind of a, a side thing I'm going to do for fun. Um, oh, no. Because, <laughs> oh, God, here it comes, right? That's just, but anyway, um, so I want to start interviewing narrators for my channel. And, you know, those of you watching, if you have any suggestions and people you want me to interview, let me know. Go ahead, um, either leave a comment. Um, my Twitter is, in, is on my channel. You can tweet at me. I'm really easy to access. But anyway, I'm going to start with Duchess here because she's a good friend of mine. So let's see how this goes. All right, let's see. Duchess, do you have, do you have the questions that I sent you? Yeah, but you can go ahead. I mean, I'm not, just ask them and I'll answer them. Okay, I just, I, I didn't want to. just going to wing it. Okay, all right. You know, I've had alcohol. This could go in any direction. Oh, God, how much <laughs> alcohol have you had? <laughs> not that much. Like, this okay. will not affect any other person on the planet, probably, that's affecting me. Go all ahead. Right, then. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so since you started the channel, your channel, obviously, um, what do you feel has been your biggest obstacle? Um, besides Windows Movie Maker? Uh. <laughs> There's a reason it's free, Duchess. Dang it. I know. I know, but I've seen so many, like, alternatives to that that are, like, not that much more not that much to pay for. And there's like four different comparative ones. I'm not sure which one to get. So I know it is terrible, but it's the one I know. So I need something similar to that to acclimate to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I see. Okay. See, I can't, I can't really make any suggestions in that because I also use um, Windows Movie Maker. It's for me, it's very limited, um, but for right now it's free and it's, it's just the right price. So, I, I mean, maybe some of the other guys can go ahead and suggest something um, that's similar to it, which I would love to hear also, because when eventually I do have money to invest in it, I would love to, you know, move up to something a little bit fancier. Um, so, other than Movie Maker, that's, that's basically been your big, biggest annoyance, correct? Yeah. And, well, I mean, besides, you know, the obstacle of the fact that computers aren't that replaceable, so I can't throw it out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that can definitely be a problem. That would be um, hilarious, though, but, yeah. Not I actually had my buddy who was here earlier, he's actually a real-life friend, Nightmares, um, build me a desktop for just this. Well, it, it's not just for this, but that's that was one of the main reasons, was because I needed a computer that could really keep up with everything I needed to do for the YouTube channel. Because this is my passion, you know, and obviously it's all of our passion to narrate. Um, all right, then. When have you been most satisfied when it comes to your channel? Oh, what have you been most satisfied? Are you in that sentence? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I said when or what have you been most satisfied with when it comes to your channel? Oh, like favorite thing I've done? Yeah, like when have you felt really fulfilled with, with your channel? You know what? It doesn't matter how good I make it. If somebody else really likes it, that makes me really, really happy. I don't know why that makes me happy. Like, if someone, like, just genuinely is entertained by it, I am really happy by that. But my favorite video I made was Bored, and I didn't make that that long ago. I think it was just the element of the music and the video and the story. It was just perfect for me. So that's, that's your favorite video so out of far. all you've done? So far, yeah, and that's not even anything I wrote. That's been on like Creepypasta Wikia for a long time. Okay, I see. It's interesting that you said that it's not, you know, something you wrote because I know that you have mm. written some of your stories. Out of the stories that you have written, which would you say was your favorite? Blind Date, because I read it to the people in my house and they were like, what? <laughs> they thought it was so messed up and that was like yes I love this story but my actually my favorite one was the one that Rainer narrated for you tomorrow and it was so funny to hear him and everyone will hear it tomorrow so tune in tomorrow <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um and then you can hear Rainer narrate something that I wrote which is so opposite I think because I don't know if Rainer's narrated something someone else has written yeah, that is interesting. I thought about that. Um, because as far as I'm aware, Rainer's only narrated his own stuff. And even that, you know, he, he just recently started doing. So, and uh, funny is that the way he did it was exactly the way I was hearing it in my head. Even, it, it, you know, even though I was the one that was reading it. 
drunk duchess answers. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> but that was the way I was hearing the story in my head, and there's no way I could get my voice to do the things that Rainer's voice. It was it was perfect. So I can't wait to post that tomorrow because it was an overwhelming happy feeling for me. I didn't know that that's the feeling that you would get if someone else read your stuff. So I might ask other people to do that more often because I've got a story I'm writing right now that is going to be very funny. So I need to have the right person do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you hear us, when you write a story, you're hearing someone else read it in your head. Like when you read a book. Exactly. Yeah. When you write a story, you're hearing the same thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. But um, if someone doesn't read it the way that you're, and there's different ways to read it, but if someone's not even getting it, like the way the story should be told, it's really disappointing. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I completely understand that, um, which is why, and both Sin and Rainer know this about me, um, I try to go back and get feedback from the author when I can, which isn't too often, but obviously with these two guys, I, I can. Um, and I've, I've gone to both of them when I've narrated the work and asked them, you know, is this how you pictured it? Is, is this what you were thinking of? Because as somebody who writes herself, because I do write myself, it is really important for me for people to capture, you know, the essence of whatever I wrote. Um, and I, that was something that I really had to think about uh, when I started writing horror. I, by the way, everybody, I just started writing horror. Um, and I, I wrote a story that actually should be released on Dr. Creepin's channel um, at some point. And I, I stopped and I thought, you know what, who would be good at narrating this? I didn't want to narrate it myself. One, because I wrote it for a male. And two, because I knew that I didn't have the persona to narrate that. I can write that person, but I can't, you know, I can't narrate it myself. So, yeah, I definitely understand what you're saying. If he wrote, if he read a toothpaste container it would sound fascinating <laughs> <laughs> you're such a fan of the doctor duchess, so, duchess next question dr <laughs> creepin von pasta no i'm just kidding but um yeah so i thought you know what i think he would be ideal for the story so whenever that gets released i'm gonna link you all um and hopefully you know i've done justice to what everybody else writes and i know at some point duchess will be writing something for me so i'll be narrating her work um, let's see. Yeah, I think you're going to do the next story that I just did. Mm -hmm. What? I think you're going to read the, the story I was telling you about. You're going to. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Called, that's a secret project, so we're moist. not going to tell. No, it's not a <laughs> secret. It's called moist. And you have to emphasize the S's because most people don't like when some. The word moist. Moist, <laughs> moist yeah. and delicious. Okay. So, have you considered what you're going to do when you reach 100,000 subscribers? Like, is uh, there a, a special project that you have in mind? You know, some people do. I mean, I know I do, but um, that's a story for another day. Do you know what you're going to do? I'm always the dreamer, Mark Bot, but I'm at like... I am such a huge dreamer. I'm like at 151 subscribers, and they are great. Okay. They always give me feedback, and I just love the... What I think would suck is if you get to the point where you can't... Where, where it comes to the point where you can't interact with people, I think that would ruin it for me. Um, but okay. as far as like, I don't know, I would just take requests and see what people wanted me to do. It would be up to the people that watch me what I did. You know what I mean? If they wanted me to jump in a pool of ice, then that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. It's funny that you mentioned that because I was going to challenge you right now to the ice bucket challenge. From like three <laughs> years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I've seen that a couple of the narrators have done that, like one or two of them. It was actually pretty funny. But um, yeah, so basically yeah. you would put it up for a vote from your followers as to what they want you to do. Yeah, I think yeah, I think only fair. You wouldn't be afraid of that? Like, they could come back with anything crazy, like shave your head. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not going to shave my head. There you go. <laughs> I'll shave off an eyebrow. I mean, there's... Yeah, eyebrows grow back. No big deal. That's, that's not a huge problem. All yeah. right, then. Um, nice draw it in, like excited. You can be like mood eyebrow. <laughs> yeah. Serious, I mean, I've seen some funky ones out there. But... I don't know. Okay. Someone else is too quiet. So, hmm. next 
question. Is there a certain topic you prefer when selecting a story to narrate? I just don't, um, like I've done a few true stories and um, I know I'm not alone on this for creepypasts and narrators. Like for me, I think it just depends on the level of what you're comfortable with and I'm not comfortable with people's, I don't find people's personal pain entertaining and that's just because I think when you've been through certain things it's not entertaining to me to listen to someone else's misery you know sometimes I do listen to them I listen to them a lot but that's not my that's not on the top of my list of narrating stuff you know what I mean that's yeah no I understand I mean it's it's tough reading especially when it comes to children I mean I don't think I could ever whether it be um just you know, a um, fictional story or a true life story, anything that has to do with kids it just breaks my heart. So I would stay away from that. So I understand what you're saying about personal pain. Um, so you don't think you could ever narrate true stories? Uh, I've overall. already done true stories. I've no, but I mean, uh, as like, as a con consistent, sorry, consistent thing, like you don't think you would put out like two or three stories, you know, a month? Or is that just... No, I could do that as long as it didn't... It if it's to the point where it's just like, I have a request that I know that I've talked to you guys about and I can't do it. And maybe someone else can, but when it comes to the point where I feel uncomfortable with the story, I can't do mm -hmm. it. I see. Okay. That's interesting. Well, you told me what you don't like to narrate, but is there a subject that you do like to narrate that you, you know, that's really stands out to you and you prefer? No, I just love creepypastas. I think that's why we're all here. No, I mean, we all love creepypastas, but I mean, like, me personally, like, if I could find a whole bunch of stories about robots and creepypasta, yeah. i do that. So you don't have a preference for them as long as it's just You know what I like? I like the creepypasta games, and I have one lined up for every Friday, for every Friday night. Actually, I have enough to do a couple a week. I love them. Oh. They're my favorite one. I think one of my favorite, one of my first favorite creepypastas is the Soul Game, and mm -hmm. I that was, like maybe the third story I listened to creepypasta wise and that was from Mr. Creepypasta and I was like oh yeah I love it and that's just immediately like it turned a switch on and then I was like obsessed with oh that. gotcha see that was the answer I was after to see what it is you are obsessed with you know doing and then I started okay. hearing everyone's voice like lazy masquerade be bust up Mr. Creepypasta your maker and of course you know the doctor <laughs> yeah so why that particular topic though? Like, I mean, is there something or you just, you know, you just enjoy it? Because I don't like the uh, other. The like other what? Like the fantasy of a creepypasta. I oh, okay. I like the, um, I like when a writer comes up with something that's so messed up that when you're done with it, you're questioning your own self. Like, how did the story get to that point? How did that person just write that? That's so messed up, and I love it. Like, Sinister and Rainer. Constantly got gotcha. stuff like that. I love it. She oh, okay. Self-plug, Rainer. <laughs> what did they mute, mute their microphones? Why is it so quiet? Yeah. Oh, because they, they did. They Remember, that was the deal that they were going to mute it so that you could, we could all hear your lovely voice. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I thought okay. they left the chat. No, they, they, remember before we started this, that was the agreement. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so since we were discussing your voice, okay. you like to sing. That's very obvious in the videos that you put out. You enjoy singing. No, I can so, sing, but when I put them up, when I'm singing, it is nerve wracking. Because when I why? Because when I was younger, that I don't know. It was something I was asked to do to the point where it became unenjoyable. What the heck was that? Someone's sorry. Dog. That that was that was my dog. He was barking in the background. It, it's actually my sister's dog, but he lives with us, so he's our dog. But anyhow, sorry, I was listening. So you were asked to do it so often. Excuse me. It became unenjoyable, and the last time that I sang in front of a large crowd was at my high school graduation by myself and I remember walking up the stage looking at all the people and there was thousands of people there and singing the song I don't remember singing the song I remember walking up on the stage looking at all the people I clearly sang the song and then I remember the applause and me walking off the stage 
I literally have like a blank spot of when I sang the song and I can't remember what the song was. So it was hard for me to do it after that in any capacity at all. Wow. So this has been kind of you getting over that. It's YouTube is my therapy. <laughs> yeah, it's been therapeutic for you. That's yeah. intense. I can't imagine doing that, getting up and singing in front of so many people. Thousands of people when it's supposed to be your day to celebrate. Yeah. The entertainment. Yeah. 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 Very. Not be the Perfect. entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tables. I think, you know, that's what you bring to your channel. It's special. I haven't heard singing in another channel along with the horror, um, well, which is really interesting. You won't hear it very often, I tell you that. No, I mean, I, I can't hear it again. Single... What? You probably won't hear it again. I don't know, unless there's, that was a request that I got to do. Oh. It's a love okay. So it wasn't like I could just read it. Mm -hmm. It was a song. But when I went to the Creepypasta link for it, someone else had sang it. And I knew I couldn't sing it the same way that that person did it, so I had to do it differently. So it, it took a long, a lot longer to do that two-minute song than it should have. <laughs> I bet. I mean, I find that nerve-wracking. I, I don't mind narrating the stories, but if I had to sing it, I don't think anybody wants to hear that. I think anybody who know, who's heard my singing can agree with the fact that, um, yeah, I was not born to sing. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I commend you for that, for the fact that, you know, you have no problem singing some of these creamy pastas. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, so, now for a more basic question. Why, why the name? What is the origin of your name? Um, it had to be original. Couldn't be Madam Anything or Lady Anything, because everybody already took that. And I tried to do Dark Duchess, and there's, a, like, three or four girls that do makeup that have that title. So it just kind of worked out that way. It was a total gotcha. accident. Okay, so Duchess just happened to be something female-oriented that, you know, was open? Right. It had to be okay. original. And, and now that's what you guys all call me. Even some of you know my real first name. You still call me Duchess. Well... To be fair, you know, I do it because I don't want to forget one of these days and say it out, let's say, in a stream and then have people know your name, you know? Yeah, I'm thankful. So that's why I kind of stick to it. I was like, I don't, I don't want to mess up. Sometimes I slip and I almost say your name, um, even when we're in private, but I kind of want to stay away from that just because, like I said, I don't want to say it in the wrong setting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, like I... I wondered why the Duchess, because Duchess isn't a common word, really. But then again, like you said, you had to find something that wasn't common. Um, so it works. And why the logo? Why the kiss in the smoke? I don't know. I wanted it to stand out because I know my degree is in business. And I know that when you do something, and this is where everyone's going to fall asleep in the chat, but I know that when <laughs> you do something, you need to brand yourself and you need to stay consistent. Definitely. So someday... I want the, my green lips to be on everything. And that sounds gross now that I said that out loud, but you know what I mean. I, like, I want posters. I want that to be, I actually want my own drink line. Wow, drink line. Why a drink line, though? Everybody says, you know, I want sweaters or shirts. You just said drink line. Why drink line? Because Duchess Dark, Duchess Dark Midnight. That just sounds like the perfect vampire-y, halloween -y type of drink. Okay. Okay, so what, would it be an alcoholic drink? What kind of drink? Yeah, it would be alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids, you can't have any of that. I'm kind of like Duchess. <laughs> What's that? Kind of like Duchess? I, yeah, kids can't have you, even though many have tried. All have failed. <laughs> <laughs> and now this is where the other people need to break and unmute your microphones, please, God. Yeah, you, please, God. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.